morning, only just two minutes to midday. It's Sunday the 26th of February 2023 and I've come to Eckington today to do a very short walk, sort of more of a last minute thing really, so I'll explain more as we go. Eckington dates back to Saxon times, when it was an important agricultural centre and market town, later becoming surrounded by coal mines that brought wealth and employment to the village. The parish church, which dates back to 1100, is dedicated to St Peter and St Paul. It boasts an impressive tower and a very early 13th century west doorway. Another church that's locked. I can't get inside. Oh well, it seems to be the norm at the moment. Never mind. Opposite the church is Eckington War Memorial. Lovely. Right. Well, it's getting busier now with traffic, so I think I should just move on and do my little walk. To the west of the church, I followed a public footpath between stone walls. This walk today is two miles, if that. Very short walk today. Now, this was actually a very last minute decision to come here today. The reason being is because when I did my last walk, I'm very conscious that I try and cover an area as much as I possibly can when I'm filming a walk, but you're not always gonna be able to film everything. Um, and I often get comments from people on my YouTube channel saying, oh, you missed this, you know, when they watch one of my videos. And I think, oh, flipping it. But you know, you can't film everything. But I always try and cover an area as much as I can and showcase it as best I can but there's always going to be something that I don't feature because I don't have time or it just adds too many more miles onto the walk and to say I try not to do too long a walk because to say it's a long enough day filming it anyway so all I'm going to do now is just I'm just doing this short walk to basically feature a couple of things that I didn't really have time for last time so I'm just heading back towards the moss now So I'm back at the moss again, just crossing over it. And it's not too far down there where the moss flows into the River Rother. But I'm not going that way today, I'm going up this way. Having crossed the moss, I turned off left to take a path between woodland and fields. I'm very close to the county boundary with Sheffield again. However, I won't be going into Sheffield today. Today's walk will be completely within Derbyshire. Okay, just coming out onto a very narrow lane now. Yep, right down here. And this takes me back over the moss again. At a bend in the lane, known as Gas House Lane, I went right to walk along a bridleway on the south side of the moss.
think I'm now approaching today's highlight, which is what I wasn't able to feature last time. up to the impressive site that is the remains of seldom seen engine house. It's easy to miss when you walk along the bridleway as it is well hidden behind the trees. After looking at the outside of the huge building I managed to open a gate to take a look inside. Seldom seen engine house. Oh, wow. Great name, isn't it? <laughs> the egg. I mean, it's all ruined, but it's still very interesting to see. I'm going to just tread carefully a bit here because I don't want to end up falling over on my behind. <laughs> oh, wow. some notes on my phone that I found so I'll just read those out. Just making sure I don't step backwards here otherwise I'm going to fall flat on my bum. <laughs> okay so dating from between 1855 and 1875 this scheduled ancient monument is an unusually large and rare form of engine house. It's the last remaining building from the Plumley collieries and provides valuable evidence of the layout and operation of a 19th century coal mine. Why is it called seldom seen? One suggestion is that because it lies hidden in the bottom of the valley, it was seldom seen. Another suggestion is that it was believed to be haunted, but the ghost was seldom seen. I know you could argue that it's not much to look at inside because it's just a shell and it's just full of bricks and wood, but, you know, it's still a historic landmark and I think it's nice that Derbyshire County Council have actually completed some restoration here to make sure that this continues to survive. Good stuff. Well, there we are then, seldom seen engine house. This is why I came here today, just to get some shots of this. I'm glad I did. I mean, this is something I've always got to consider when I'm making my films, something else I've got to consider. In the past, when I've been filming for a day, filming a walk, I've captured so much footage that when it comes to the editing, there's such a lot that ends up not making it into the final edit because you've got to be quite ruthless with the editing. I mean, for the last nine years now, I've been making my films that last no longer than 20 minutes or 22 minutes. And I think 22 minutes is pushing it really. I wouldn't really want my films to last any longer than that. And sometimes when I've captured so much footage during a day's walk, I could edit with a film that could last about 40 to 45 minutes and I really don't want my films to be that long. So that's why I have to be quite ruthless in the editing stage. So as I say, I could have filmed this on the last walk when I did the Moss Valley, but I just thought other things are going to suffer because I really wanted to cover the Moss Valley and show the scenery without sort of cutting out too much of it. So I thought it'd be worth coming here today and filming this so that I could capture it properly and showcase this in a decent way without having to sort of take too many shots out of the final edit. So, yeah, that's why I do it. Just got to be ruthless in your editing, really. <laughs>
I climbed up beyond the engine house to continue walking through Inspeace Wood, part of a collection of woodlands that make up Eckington Woods. Just a short climb up to the wood now then. I'll be exiting Inspeace Wood and crossing the fields back towards Eckington. This is Lady Ida's Drive. It's a great name, isn't it? Lady Ida's Drive. But I'm only crossing over it because I'm just about to exit the wood now and cross the field. Exiting the woods, I had fine open views as I headed along the edge of the field towards the residential areas of Eckington. <laughs> Turning left at a junction of paths, I walked along a sunken path between the field and the backs of the houses. Now that I'm on the outskirts of Eckington again, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to Hayden Harrison. How are you doing Hayden? Now Hayden suggested a while ago that I should do a real ales video. <laughs> he did say that he'd seen other people suggest that and he wondered if if I made such a video, would I still be able to communicate verbally at the end? Well, <laughs> I wonder if I communicate verbally well anyway. <laughs> As before, I've had a drink. He also said, if I'd made such a video, much editing may be required. Well, yeah, I think I'd have to cut the whole thing if that was the case. <laughs> Good idea, because of course in some of my previous films, I have mentioned these real ale minibus trips that I've organised before now. I mean, I've not done one for a few years now because I think the last one was probably the year before COVID. So it's, you know, four years or more now since I did the last one. But uh, yeah, those real ale minibus trips were great because, as I said before, I used to do them once every two years. I'd organise a route that would involve about five pubs. And they're very, very popular. And there's somebody coming, so I'm going to stop talking at the moment. <laughs> They've gone past me now, so I shall continue. However, I think I've got to raise my voice a bit because this kid's playing football in the playing field and they're shouting, so I've got to shout over them if I can. <laughs> As I was saying, I've talked about those real ale minibus trips before and uh, they're such a good night out where you sort of arrange a route that involves visiting five different pubs. But uh, I mean, there's no way I'd really want to try and film one of those. I mean, they are such a relaxing night where you get driven around these pubs with a taxi driver and you get taken to these different places, have a drink in each one. Yeah, I think it would be fatal if I tried to take my camera because my camera would probably get damaged. Footage would probably be so censored. <laughs> I'd have nothing left of a film to show. But uh, yeah, a nice idea anyway. <laughs> Having arrived back in Eckington, I decided to walk down the road to the church again, before heading home. Yeah, it's lovely now. The sun's really out. Beautiful. I just thought I'd end today's walk back by the church. It's a lot quieter than when I was here at the start of the walk as well. And it's about 10 to 3 now, I think. So I've actually done less than three hours filming today, which I think is a record. So it was only a two mile walk, but uh, yeah, it's been really nice. Glad I came here today just to do the short walk. Yeah, I wonder where I'll be going next. Mm -hmm. 